So this is 2J, question from problem solving, question 8 and question 9. So in question 8, the perimeter of a rectangular city block is 800 metres. So I'm going to draw the rectangular block and the perimeter equals 800 metres. The difference between the length and the width is 123. The difference between the length and the width is 1. So equation number 1 is L minus W equals 123. And my second equation is that 2L plus 2W equals 800. So 2L plus 2W equals 800. That's equation 1. That's equation 2. Now, if I add them together at the moment, nothing will eliminate. So I'm going to choose to multiply equation 1 by 2, and that will set up a minus 2w, that when I add to the 2w, will give me an elimination. I'm going to write that under here. So 2 times L is 2L, 2 times minus W is minus 2W, and 2 times 123 is 246. And now I'm going to add them together. 4L, the W's disappear, equals 1046 and L is going to be 1046 divided by 4. 1046 divided by 4, 4 goes into 10 twice, 8 with 2 remainder, 4 goes into 24 6 times, 4 goes into 6 once with 2 remainder and that's going to be a half. So the length is 261 and a half metres, and then I can find the width. So what do I know? Um, so 261.5 minus W equals 123. Therefore, if I move the W over, W equals 261.5 minus 123. Golly. 261.5 minus 123.5, borrow from the 5, that gives 1, 11 minus is 8, 5 is, 5 minus 2 is 3, 138 and a half. So the width equals 138 and a half metres, and the length is 261 and a half metres. Okay, pretty awful numbers, but we got there. Okay, question number 9. A teacher collects 17 mobile phones and iPads before the students head off to the bushwalk. So if M equals the number of mobile phones and I equals the number of iPads, therefore M plus I equals 17, because if I add the number of mobiles and the number of iPads, I get the total of 17. From a second group of students, 40 phones and iPads were collected. So from a second group, 40 phones and iPads. I don't want to use M and, a, M and I because that's the number for the first group. The second group has twice the number of phones and three times the number of iPads is the first group. How many phones and how many iPads did the first group have? Okay, the second group had twice the number of phones. So let's do um, X is the number of phones, uh, mobiles, and Y is the number of iPads. And I'm going to have an expression of X plus Y equals 40. And what else do I know? Um, had twice the number of phones as the number of iPads and three times the number of iPads. So the number of phones, X equals twice the number, so 2M, and Y equals 3I. So I've got 2m plus 3i equals 40 because I've replaced my x 
the number of phones in the second group with 2M because they had twice as many. And I know that the connection between M and I is 17, so M plus I equals 17. Since if I add any of these together, I'm not going to eliminate anything, I'm going to choose to multiply the second equation by negative 2. And that will give me a minus 2M. So I'll do that. Negative 2 times M is minus 2M. Negative 2 times I is minus 2I equals negative 2 times 17 minus 34. And I've got 2M plus 3I equals 40. I equals 6. Therefore, there were in the first group 6 iPads. And I know that there were 17 in total, therefore 11 mobiles. And in the first group. So that's the answer to the first question.